WWE 2K24 got its first information drop and within that news drop I noticed that there was a bunch of things that are actually returning to the series after being dropped from previous WWE games. So in this video I'm going to go through the 14 removed features that are coming back in WWE 2K24. First up is the special guest referee match type, which has been highly requested for years now by players of WWE 2K games. It was revealed thanks to an interview on ScreenRant.com that the match type will play similar to the WWE 13 version of the match type, rather than the SmackDown vs Raw version of the match type. So you won't be able to just go crazy knocking everyone out whenever you feel like, because eventually you're going to go too far and get kicked out of the match and replaced with an actual referee. There's also going to be the screw job feature returning to the match, which allows for you to call for a submission when someone hasn't even tapped out. A brand new feature to the match type will also be the ability to call for DQs without any reason to do so. In previous games, you had to be at least hit by someone to get the option for the DQ. But according to the interview that I mentioned previously, You'll have the ability to do it whenever you just feel like it. There's no word on what matches will allow special guest referee. I'm hoping that there will be options again, like past games, to be able to ref match types within Hell in a Cell and Iron Man matches for example. Being limited to just normal match types would be really disappointing. The casket match has not been a selectable match type now for almost 24 years. It was selectable in Smackdown 2, which released in 2000 for the PS1. Now 24 years later, it's finally back. The last time the match appeared in any capacity in a WWE 2K game was 2K15 as a showcase exclusive match only. So you could only play as Kane against Triple H in this match. And unfortunately, you couldn't unlock it in WWE 2K15 for use outside of the mode. There's not much known about the match type other than you can close the casket yourself rather than the ref closing it. And it supposedly can be used as a weapon. Like, I'm guessing you could slam the lid on someone's arm, for example. I doubt we'll be running around with caskets like the SmackDown 2 days. I guess it will play somewhat similar to the WWE 2K15 version that we got in showcase mode, which means that there will likely be a QTE mini game to close the lid with the lid shut in once the opponent has taken enough damage. The gauntlet match is another past match type that is returning in WWE 2K24. It's pretty much a simple match type to do in the game. All you have to do is just have someone enter the match after beating the other one up. It's a pretty nice addition though and it would be cool to see the match type have the option to be played in slobber knocker mode which means you have to go through as many superstars as possible to get the best score before the time runs out or you get defeated. Now you might be thinking with this one, you're going crazy, we've never had an ambulance match before in WWE games. Well we actually did in Smackdown vs Raw 2010, only on the Nintendo DS though. So we haven't had it on like the main consoles, but it has appeared before. I wouldn't be too shocked if this match type plays similar to how it was here, with a mini game popping up with you trying to slam the door shut, whilst the opponent you've thrown in is fighting against the door closing. Though I'm guessing the ambulance won't be driving in the crowd like the last time this match type showed up. The backstage area is getting some fun improvements with more interactivity in WWE 2K24, which is something I've really wanted to see for a long time now. Sure, we did get a bit in WWE 2K23, but it was like only two interactive spots. In 2K14, however, we'll now have a usable elevator along with the drinks machine, which has appeared before, though this time we can get some cans out of it to just at our opponents. One of the other spots that's been added is something that used to be in backstage areas and that's the backstage glass spot. Brock Lesnar, he's got the body, the attitude, the intensity. He was a champion in college and added a WWE title to his resume within months after joining the company. I agree, the Beast was born for this, Cole. I won't argue with that. He is I don't believe it! The match is over! Backstage is also no longer limited to just two people backstage. You can now up the limit to four people during backstage brawls, which is something you could do, but was then removed with WWE 2K15 not having backstage areas at all. And when WWE 2K17 brought it back, it was only limited to two people. And now finally, in WWE 2K24, we're back to four people backstage. There's also some weapons that will be making their return after being taken out a few years ago. WWE 2K24 will bring back the trash can, guitar, and the microphone as weapons that are likely to be under the ring. 
though I'm not quite sure yet if they are going to be exclusive to just certain areas. It would be nice to have the trash can for example under the ring as it has been limited to just backstage areas for many years now. And now this next one is something I'm genuinely really excited for. It's the return of the camera pointing towards the stage camera angle during Royal Rumble matches. I've always felt like that camera angle just works so much better for Royal Rumble matches. As you can see people entering the ring, you get to see the stage and everything works better in my opinion. However, for anyone who wants to keep that realistic camera angle, then you'll be happy to know that it's just an option that you can switch on or off. Throwing weapons has been a thing in WWE games since the days of No Mercy, but it has been in and out of games for a long time now. It returned once again in SmackDown vs Raw 2011, before being removed once again. It's now back, and I'm happy to start throwing chairs and whatever I can find at opponents' heads again. Hopefully it won't be removed again. WWE 2K24 also ups the realism by including actual referees you see on WWE TV. This is the first time that they've been included since SmackDown vs Raw 2009 and in WWE 2K24 there was actually even 7 to choose from. This is closer to the Raw 2 days where you could pick from a bunch of different referees on the menu screen with them all being actual referees with their names and even different styles with each ref having their own counting speed for example. Hopefully that returns too. My GM is also getting some returning features in WWE 2K24 with the return of trades to the mode. Don't want a certain superstar on the roster anymore? Well, just offer them up to a rival brand. And if you're feeling lucky, just give them your worst rated superstar for their top rated star and just hope for the best. Usually it doesn't work. Contract management is also back in MyGM. In previous MyGM modes, most of your roster was just signed to lifetime contracts. So you didn't have to renew deals and keep an eye on when their deals were coming up. You just knew you had them for the entire mode. Now like the old SmackDown vs Raw GM mode days, you have to keep an eye on the contracts and make sure everyone is signed. The return of unlockable MyRise characters is something that should have never been removed in the first place. But I'm happy to say that when you play My Rise in 2K24, you'll be able to unlock the original characters that are within the mode. The days of having to download them from community creations is finally over, and hopefully not being able to unlock them will be a thing in the past for good now. I'll be standing in Orlando at the Performance Center. You can continue standing in high school gyms. <laughs> we'll see. And lastly, a create mode is also returning to WWE 2K24. And it's one that's kind of underrated and forgotten about, that being create a sign. In SmackDown vs Raw 2011 and beyond, you could use the paint tool to create designs that you could then import over into a sign that fans will then hold up during matches. I'm guessing this means the process will be much easier now as you can download any design you need from community creations and use that as your sign. It's a small but good create mode to bring back, especially if you want the authentic created superstar. And those are the 14 things that are returning to WWE 2K24 after being removed from previous games. I'll be doing more 2K24 videos soon, so make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already, and also make sure to like the video if you did enjoy it. Thanks as always for watching everyone, and I'll see you all on the next video.